Welcome to Savor the Flavor, the only cooking show in the RGV. On today's show, Larry Delgado from House Wine is going to show us a new twist on how to prepare and cook fresh fish. So don't go away because you're about to savor the flavor. Welcome back to Save of the Flavor. With us today is Larry Delgado from House Wine. Hey, How are you doing today? I'm doing well. Thanks for having me back. Awesome. It's always fun to have you back. All right. Let's, let's <laughs> get to it. So, you're going to teach us how to prep fish. Yeah, I've got a couple of cool things we're going to do with some fish today. Uh, Jessica and I were fishing recently and we've got some awesome uh, fish here. A flounder. Uh huh. Really hard to find. You know, most people don't go fishing for flounder. It's yeah. kind of a secondary thing if you catch one. I happen to love flounders. It's a very unique fish. Uh, you know, flounder lays flat right sideways so you have the fillet on top and bottom so we're gonna do is get right into it okay uh, we're gonna fillet this out take the bones out and create a pocket we're gonna sear it we're gonna bake it what are we doing we're gonna sear the skin on the outside and then we'll bake it with the stuffing on the inside oh, beautiful so a flounder only has a it's got a small little gut space right, right. in here so all of this is meat and it's on the back side is another fillet another beautiful fillet right there so we'll do first let's get right behind the fin here just remove that head. Right there. All right. So what you see here, once you remove the head, you've got the backbone right in the middle here. We go right over that bone and just work it all the way to the back. And then we're going to, right above that rib cage, we'll just work it over to the side over here. And you can kind of see your, your the right. knife through here. You, know, you don't want to come all the way through. You want to leave this pouch intact. So you'll work it back over to the other side, being careful not to get through those bones because they're fragile. You can't cut through them. Uh -huh. You take it easy and move. You, you'll, you'll, you'll give, yeah, you can see it all over the fish. You bring it all the way out to the edge without cutting that cutting that over. All right, so you can see how, how this is working. Wow, look at that. We'll flip it over, do the same thing on the other side. And that's just gonna slide right out? No. No? <laughs> no, we're gonna, what we're gonna do is turn this thing in on itself. It takes a little work and a little practice, but it's well worth it when you get it done right. So you can see our two fillets, one on top and one on bottom, and the bones are, are just, just right hanging on by the, the edges. What we'll do now is we'll take our shears. We're going to clip down the sides just a little bit, as far down as our shears will go without, without cutting through this thing. Careful not to get all the way to the skin, uh -huh. all the way to the edge. We go all the way back so to get these out of our way. Yeah, make sure you're using a good pair of shears. Oh yeah, you gotta have a good pair of shears and a yeah. sharp knife to do this as well. Otherwise you're just gonna end up tearing up your meat. A little bit off the top, just a little bit. All right. So now, check this out. We're just gonna peel it back. Oh wow! Look at that. Little by little. Now you gotta be careful not to tear the meat. That's right. You don't want to tear the meat. You don't want to tear the skin. So peel it back a little on each side, and as you go, snip a little more. Tell you this isn't uh this is very it it, it requires a lot of precision and, and some patience but <laughs> i'm telling you it's totally worth it when you get it done right go back a little more wow these things will almost break off just like that right here see we're almost down to the tail we'll go all the way uh -huh. i think this is pretty close just snip it off, mm -hmm. and there's your bones. And we'll save this, I'll save all of that for, uh, to make a fish stock. Um, and uh, you know, I, don't, I don't like for any of this stuff to go to waste. Right. So as you see in here, a lot of these bones get left behind. Yeah. We're just gonna peel those off with our knife, and then we'll snip them off with the, with the shears. shears. Just make sure that you have no bones in here, because nobody likes to eat right. a filet. Surprise. 
and be surprised with a bone. All right, so this feels pretty good. All right, so you rub your fingers through there, make sure you don't have any bones in there, and once this is pretty clean, sure, you can flip it back on itself. So you, you, you end up with just a real nice chunk of flounder meat. That's it. So you have filet on top, filet on bottom, and a clean pocket to stuff with whatever you want. Wow, wow. All right, that's gonna be great. We'll put that aside and get to the redfish. All right, so how about before we get to the redfish, we'll take a quick break. You bet. And uh, just a little break. I know you. that was that was intense. I, you know, I did, it, it does get a little intense, but. Uh, <laughs> so don't go away, we'll be right back. <laughs> 